Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist, fellow of the American Academy of Dermatology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys again for supporting my channel, uh, being very enthusiastic about skincare product reviews. But now we're gonna change things up and do a comparison video between Equate Beauty, Walmart brand, versus Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It's August 5th, 2020. Uh, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, schools, some states are reopening. Washington State going virtual. Um, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for wearing a mask. Um, you know, the there are surges in the country. I hope you're all doing well during this time. I'm really thinking about um, the U.S. and also the world in general. Uh, we're all in this, we're all in this together. So I'm appreciating the positivity during this uh, these dark, difficult times. Uh, I'm really thinking about the small businesses as well. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about the uh, moisturizers here. Uh, we got Cetaphil versus Equate moisturizing cream. Uh, Cetaphil is a gold standard gentle moisturizer for those with sensitive skin or babies uh you know newborns and for those with dry skin and you know having um the hygiene the hygiene hypothesis in effect the younger generations are getting more atopic dermatitis because we're growing up in cleaner environments so we're definitely seeing more eczema dry skin dry skin the other name is xerosis so moisturizer is very important to talk about especially in seattle uh lots of cold weather rainy days here bring uh cold weather also, winter time, you have uh, con to make condensation. Uh, you're drawing moisture from our skin for condensation when you're outdoors. Plus, we're having the heaters on, and that's drying out our skin. So, um, it's nice to talk about moisturizers and Cetaphil. Always a gold standard, but this is my first time actually being exposed to Equate from uh, Christina on my uh, YouTube team. She had recommended to uh, recommend that I review this product, which I did. And I gave it a 7.5 um, out of 10, I believe. And um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good cream. I was really impressed that it's uh, paraben-free, fragrance-free. It has, um, a glyc has glycerin, petrolatum. Those things are good that you want in a moisturizer. It didn't have any scent. It, was, it did rub in very nicely into my hand in that video. And also has some vitamin E. When I compare it to this, Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, they have very similar ingredient, uh, an ingredient list, but the only difference, and I found this out that um, the, the Cetaphil has uh, Helianthus annuus sunflower seed oil. So sunflower seed oil is in this, but not in the Equate. Whereas both of them do have the sweet almond oil, but this is uh, this does have the sunflower seed oil, which is a nice moisturizing ingredient. So that's already a plus uh, over the Equate. Cetaphil wins in that respect. And also when I did a blind test with my wife last night, we both um, test each other. We had our eyes closed, dip our hand into one jar versus the other, and we applied it to our uh, forearms uh, independently and we both uh said the following and without without knowing a totally blind test right it turned out that the cetaphil was lighter it rubbed in better it felt like it was less heavy than equates 
it quite reminded us more like a petrolatum feel, like a Vaseline feel, which isn't a bad thing because, you know, it's a nice, the petro, petrolatum is a nice occlusive ingredient in moisturizers by creating a skin barrier. Um, but it did feel heavier. And if you wanna look at the two, when you open them up, pretty similar, but not. This one is a little harder too, whereas this is a little bit silkier. little silkier. This one seems like it's a little bit more rock hard. You almost, it's, you almost, it's almost like uh, butter that's starting to melt. It's still a little solid, it's like semi-solid, still a little hard, and but you have to like put a little bit more pressure to pull off a bit of the moisturizer. And you can tell it's already kind of thicker and not as light feeling. During the summer, this is probably a little bit, um, it's probably less, um, it's probably less comfortable than the Cetaphil uh, because of it being uh, a little bit more of that heavy feeling. And, you know, you, as much as possible, you want this to be uh, used by people and guys are already resistant to using a, sun, a moisturizer. You don't want to have any, uh, uh, you know, excuse for a guy to say, oh, I don't like the feel of it in the summer. Um, just like compression hose. People don't want to wear compression stockings during the summer because it's really hot and warm. You don't want to have that feeling when you're wearing a moisturizer. So I think the Equate, um, the Equate does lose on the texture feel too. So, you know, quick video, getting straight to the point. Ingredient wise, this has sunflower seed oil. This does not. Sunflower seed oil, very nice ingredient to have. This one has um, good ingredients, but uh, similar ingredients uh, and good ingredients, but when you actually trial them head to head, and you can try this out too, um, they do feel very different. Looking at it, they do look different as well. So just scooping up just a small amount, you can already tell from the get-go, this is a lighter texture to it. It's a little bit more sophisticated. You can tell the technology is uh, better in this one. Um, so. Do you, does this justify the price? I, uh, you know, it, it, this still does a job, but if you want to have something a little bit higher end, uh, this is uh, still the gold standard, I'd say. This can't top it, but if you are in a pinch and you need something very, very affordable at Walmart, you need something, you ran out of your Cetaphil um, tied on cash, this is fine, but Cetaphil still reigns supreme, so, Crown goes to Cetaphil. So Dr. Sugai gives this one big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know other comparison videos uh, that you want me to do. I will do a comparison between La Roche-Posay's Anthelios 50, tinted versus non-tinted. This is a, one of my favorite sunscreens out there, water-resistant, mineral-based, um, but having skin type three, very important to avoid the white cast look uh, for sunscreen. So I wanna talk about those two sunscreens, but we also can go inter-brand, not just intra-brand comparison. So we could go Anthelios 50 water-resistant sunscreen versus Supergoop uh, matte screen water-resistant sunscreen. That will be a nice comparison. Maybe more of a better comparison would be the tinted versus the matte screen because the matte screen is a little bit more tinted. Um, so that would be more of a fair comparison. All right, guys, so let's have some fun. Let's keep having fun uh, with these products. And thank you again for the engagement and the support. Have fun this summer. Peace.